Chapter 9. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honor Galilee of the Gentiles by the way of the sea along the Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as men rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. The Lord has sent a message against Jacob. It will fall on Israel. All the people will know it, Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria, who say with pride and arrogance of heart, The bricks have fallen down, but we will rebuild with dressed stone. The fig trees have been felled, but we will replace them with cedars. But the Lord has strengthened Rezin's foes against them, and has spurred their enemies on. Arameans from the east and Philistines from the west have devoured Israel with open mouth. Yet for all this his anger is not turned away, his hand is still upraised. But the people have not returned to him who struck them, nor have they sought the Lord Almighty. So the Lord will cut off from Israel both head and tail, both palm branch and reed in a single day. The elders and prominent men are the head, the prophets who teach lies are the tail. Those who guide this people mislead them, and those who are guided are led astray. Therefore the Lord will take no pleasure in the young men, nor will he pity the fatherless and widows, for everyone is ungodly and wicked, every mouth speaks vileness. Yet for all this, his anger is not turned away. His hand is still upraised. Surely wickedness burns like a fire. It consumes briars and thorns. It sets the forest thickets ablaze so that it rolls upward in a column of smoke. By the wrath of the Lord Almighty, the land will be scorched and the people will be fuel for the fire. No one will spare his brother. On the right they will devour but still be hungry. On the left they will eat but not be satisfied. Each will feed on the flesh of his own offspring. Manasseh will feed on Ephraim, and Ephraim on Manasseh. Together they will turn against Judah. Yet for all this, his anger is not turned away. His hand is still upraised. Chapter 10 Woe to those who make unjust laws, to those who issue oppressive decrees, to deprive the poor of their rights and withhold justice from the oppressed of my people, making widows their prey and robbing the fatherless. What will you do on the day of reckoning when disaster comes from afar? To whom will you turn for help? Where will you leave your riches? Nothing will remain but to cringe among the captives or fall among the slain. Yet for all this his anger is not turned away, his hand is still upraised. Woe to the Assyrian, the rod of my anger, in whose hand is the club of my wrath. I send him against a godless nation. I dispatch him against a people who anger me, to seize loot and snatch plunder, and to trample them down like mud in the streets. But this is not what he intends. This is not what he has in mind. His purpose is to destroy, to put an end to many nations. Are not my commanders all kings, he says? Has not Kalno fared like Carchemish? Is not Hamath like Arpad, and Samaria like Damascus? As my hand sees the kingdoms of the idols, kingdoms whose images excel those of Jerusalem and Samaria, shall I not deal with Jerusalem and her images as I dealt with Samaria and her idols? When the Lord has finished all his work against Mount Zion and Jerusalem, he will say, I will punish the king of Assyria for the willful pride of his heart and the haughty look in his eyes. For he says, By the strength of my hand I have done this, and by my wisdom, because I have understanding. I removed the boundaries of nations, I plundered their treasures, like a mighty one I subdued their kings. As one reaches into a nest, so my hand reached for the wealth of the nations. As men gather abandoned eggs, so I gathered all the countries. Not one flapped a wing or opened its mouth to chirp. Does the axe raise itself above him who swings it? 
or the saw boast against him who uses it? As if a rod were to wield him who lifts it up, or a club brandish him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord Almighty, will send a wasting disease upon his sturdy warriors. Under his pomp a fire will be kindled like a blazing flame. The light of Israel will become a fire, their holy one a flame. In a single day it will burn and consume his thorns and his briars. The splendor of his forests and fertile fields it will completely destroy, as when a sick man wastes away. And the remaining trees of his forest will be so few that a child could write them down. In that day the remnant of Israel, the survivors of the house of Jacob, will no longer rely on him who struck them down, but will truly rely on the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. A remnant will return, a remnant of Jacob will return to the mighty God. Though your people, O Israel, be like the sand by the sea, only a remnant will return. Destruction has been decreed, overwhelming and righteous. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, will carry out the destruction decreed upon the whole land. Therefore this is what the Lord, the Lord Almighty, says, O my people who live in Zion, do not be afraid of the Assyrians, who beat you with a rod and lift up a club against you, as Egypt did. Very soon my anger against you will end, and my wrath will be directed to their destruction. The Lord Almighty will lash them with a whip, as when he struck down Midian at the rock of Oreb. And he will raise his staff over the waters, as he did in Egypt. In that day their burden will be lifted from your shoulders, their yoke from your neck. The yoke will be broken because you have grown so fat. They enter Ayatha, they pass through Migron, they store supplies at Mikmash. They go over the pass and say, We will camp overnight at Geba. Rama trembles, Gibeah of Saul flees. Cry out, O daughter of Galim, listen, O Laisha. Poor Anathoth, Madmana is in flight, the people of Gebim take cover. This day they will halt at Nob, they will shake their fist at the mount of the daughter of Zion, at the hill of Jerusalem. See, the Lord, the Lord Almighty, will lop off the boughs with great power. The lofty trees will be felled, the tall ones will be brought low. He will cut down the forest thickets with an axe. Lebanon will fall before the Mighty One. Chapter 11 A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a branch will bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the Spirit of counsel and of power, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. But with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt, and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the hole of the cobra, and the young child put his hand into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. In that day the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the peoples. The nations will rally to him, and his place of rest will be glorious. In that day the Lord will reach out his hand a second time to reclaim the remnant that is left of his people from Assyria, from Lower Egypt, from Upper Egypt, from Cush, from Elam, from Babylonia, from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. He will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. He will assemble the scattered people of Judah from the four quarters of the earth. Ephraim's jealousy will vanish, and Judah's enemies will be cut off. Ephraim will not be jealous of Judah, nor Judah hostile toward Ephraim. They will swoop down on the slopes of Philistia to the west. Together they will plunder the people to the east. They will lay hands on Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites will be subject to them. The Lord will dry up the gulf of the Egyptian sea. With a scorching wind he will sweep his hand over the Euphrates River. He will break it up into seven streams so that men can cross over in sandals. There will be a highway for the remnant of his people that is left from Assyria, as there was from Israel when they came up from Egypt. Chapter 12 In that day you will say, 
I will praise you, O Lord. Although you were angry with me, your anger has turned away, and you have comforted me. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord, is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. In that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done, and proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. <laughs> 